Hi everyone. Okay. <laughs> Just waiting for a few more persons to come in. I wanted to talk a bit about making plans for 2022. How do you make plans for 2022? Hi everyone, hi. So I have a I have a plan that I always use when I'm doing things. A big plan. Sometimes I use smaller plans to lead into the big plans. But generally I use a, a, a sheet. It's on my computer. And the title of the sheet is goals for, and I put the, the year, right? So goals for 2016, 2017. I've been doing this forever. So I have a lot of these sheets <laughs> that I've written up and saved on the computer. And it's really just to help me to organize myself for the new year. So I'm gonna go through it a bit. <clears throat> And then I'm going to also download this video and put it on my YouTube page for persons on that side. Okay. And as you can see, you see those post-it notes all along there. Those are um, reminders of things that um, I need to do. Actually, my husband put, put up those. So he's the one that needs reminders. But we do those little things to ensure that we don't drop the ball very important especially as business owners and for persons who are new welcome my name is Venice Irving I am CEO of Happy Teachers and I help teachers to leverage themselves online to earn an income online and you know to, to come out of debt and I have a few strategies that I want to help teachers for in 2022 I'll be starting coaching and mentoring programs in January I will also start some, um, I'm going to put up some more online courses for the teachers to do because many people have been asking me for online courses. All right, so I'm just going to go through, it's a five step worksheet. Um, the first step is I'm going to write what my goals are, what my big goals are, and I'm going to give you an example. Um, for example, one of my big goals would be to lose, I always say this, to lose weight. And as women, you know, you always say, oh, you want to lose 10 pounds, 20 pounds, whatever. Whatever your goal is, right? Or if you don't want to lose weight, you want to remain, you want to maintain the weight rather. All right? So that's step one. Step two, why do you want to achieve these goals? All right, so now I would put on the... The goal of wanting to lose weight I'll say why so my reason would be I really want to feel healthy I want to get more energy uh, maybe I don't like how I fit in my clothes so you know I want to be able to fit in my clothes better things like those so I'll always give a reason and it, those reasons are not superficial reasons those reasons are real legitimate reasons for me to want to achieve those goals um, case in point, if you are making goals or you're planning something and at the end of it all, you find that your reasons are superficial, usually those goals fall by the wayside and you don't achieve them. So always try to make sure that the goals that you're planning to achieve, that you have legitimate reasons for them. All right. All right. Step two, step three. So we're at step three now. It's what do I need to do to reach them? So we're still sticking with the example of losing weight. I already told you the reasons why I want to lose weight. So step three, what do I need to do? Now I need to exercise. I need to have a exercise regimen. I need to find the best time of day, according to my schedule, for me to do these exercises. Personally speaking, I prefer to exercise in the evening hours because in the mornings, nah, it ain't good. It's not working out for me. So evenings are best. And I also will, hi guys, hi Maggie. I also will um, say 
not only the reasons, not only when I will exercise, but I will also say what I need to do in order to lose that 10 pounds, 20 pounds. So I need to jog for a mile. I need to do more strength training. Uh, maybe diet plays a part in that. I need to cut down on fat, I need, on the fatty foods. <laughs> I need to eat more vegetables, eat on time. Maybe I want to incorporate the uh, fasting diet into you know my, my whatever i'm doing so they call that the you have the keto diet and they have the intermittent fasting so all of that jazz all right so you you write down clearly and concisely what you're trying to do and how you're going to reach those goals step four is how am i going to do this and it tells you about Buying and preparing healthy foods, drinking more water, making healthy choices when you travel. Because when you travel, that is when sometimes you don't get to exercise or even eat healthy. I usually, when I'm at the airport, I just pick up something and go. But um, if you have it in your plan that you're going to try to make healthy choices while you travel, then that will help you as you go along. All right, step five, what will help me stay consistent? So things like family support, things like prayer, dedication, um, a mentor or a partner, an accountability partner, things like that will help me to be more accountable and to stay consistent to my goals. All right, so that's the fifth one. So those are five steps to making your plans for 2022. Hi, everyone. So the first one, you're going to write what your goals are. The second, why do you want to achieve those goals? The third, what do you need to do in order to, to reach these goals? Fourth, how are you going to do this? And the fifth one is what will help you stay consistent? Hola, I need to learn some Spanish because I'm teaching English to Colombian students. And when they speak Spanish to me, I have no clue what is going on <laughs> so i need some spanish lessons all right so i do have a lot of goals i have i those goals range from academic goals physical goals mental goals um family goals all of that so i put all of those goals there now vision boarding really doesn't work for me this is my wall and i usually put my vision board here but over the years I realized that it's just there and nothing happens I really don't do anything I will look at it and it looks pretty and I go about my business so that really doesn't help me what helps me really is having um, writing out my goals the five-step worksheet like I told you and then I'm gonna just show you a, a sheet of paper but what I do is I print it out. I print it out. Sometimes it comes to one page or two pages. And I'll just have it like I have here. I just have it here. And I'll just put it in my bag. I'll put it in my daily planner. I'll put it in um, any any place that I have um, things that I'm going to, if I'm going to go somewhere, I just put it in my folder. I even put it in my computer. I close my computer on it. <laughs> So as I open my computer for the day, it's the first thing that I see. So I have this trusted paper that I walk around with, with all my goals for the year. So that means I see it every single day. It's not like a vision board that I see once a day in the mornings and then that's it. No. For my paper, I see it every single day. And this vision, well, it's not vision board, it's a goal worksheet. So the goal worksheet that I have, usually it's flexible. It does, if I decide to make a goal worksheet for, at the end of each year, which is usually this time, for the upcoming year, I always review, always look and see, okay, is this attainable? Is this where I want to go? Because sometimes your mind changes from time to time. Sometimes your goals change from time to time. And one very important aspect that I did not get to mention earlier is that when you write your goals, I always put a time when I need 
it to happen or a month or a date i always put that so under step that will be the first step step one my goals for example if i say i need to lose 10 pounds i put the month in which i need to lose that 10 pounds so i have here may 2022 i need to lose 10 pounds that's just an example right guys so i always am specific and intentional specific and intentional another thing when i go down to step four and i talk about how i'm gonna achieve these goals i always write how many hours for the week i will dedicate to achieving this goal so for my exercise it's usually um, 45 minutes each day for exercise so i times that by five if it's five days per week that i'm planning to exercise or seven days per week it depends on your regimen and then you put the number of hours there each week that you're planning to dedicate to achieving those goals and let me tell you it works for me this is what has helped me to get out of my procrastination and to I have to be very detailed because I'm at the classic procrastinator I will procrastinate <laughs> And I will feel no guilt about it. So in order for me to push myself to achieve more, I have to be detailed with my goal worksheet. I call it a five-step plan. All right, let me know if you want me to go over that five steps again. But that's what I have to do. And I found that I have been achieving more over the years as I do this. Now, I am not caught up with achievements. So if I don't achieve something within a given time, I am not hard on myself. I give myself a break. I say, okay, this may be achievable in the next six months. And after six months, if I haven't achieved it, I do an audit, a self audit. Did I put in the number of hours that I said I was gonna do? Is this a task that's more difficult than I thought it would have been? Did I get the proper support that I needed? All of that goes into a self audit. And then I will realign myself, evaluate the task, and then again, put another timeline for me to achieve that task. Sometimes too, within the self audit, I will say to myself, do I still really want to achieve this? If not, I'll just take it off. If I don't, if, if this is not really like important, <laughs> If I'm just doing it for clout, listen, it, it can go. I don't need it on my plate. All right. So that's what I do, guys. And it has helped me, I must say. It really has. Um, so let me go over it for those who came late and did not hear. Step one, you just write your goals, what your vision is, what your goals are for the entire year. Uh, usually don't do more than 10 and I break them up into quarters. So I, you know, I have different goals for each quarter. But, um, and then you have some goals that go through all quarters of the year. It's such a huge goal that you have to work on it bit by bit for the entire year. So I do have about eight goals, major goals for next year. And these goals span across health, family, business, um, you know and such the like mental health spiritual um life all those things i touch on every little thing because i need to be a whole and rounded person um okay so after i do step one which is what i do i outline the goals and then i put a, a timeline so i put the month in which i would like to achieve that goal so by november i should achieve this one by may i should achieve that one step two why do i want to achieve these goals you, I write for each goal, I write now why I want to achieve these goals. And the reasons should be legitimate reasons. It cannot be superficial. If it is, you'll never achieve those goals. Um, it must be legitimate reasons that touch you, that it affects you, that, is, that helps you to grow personally, um, you know, in your family, in your business. It must be something legitimate. All right, step three. 
what do I need to do to reach them? So now you're going to tell the different steps. You need to do research on certain things. You need to, if you want to write a book, so you need to get writing, right? If you're going to be a writer, you need to start writing. There's no way you can be a writer without writing. So start practice writing, start reading more books because a good writer is a great reader. Um, and so those are the different things that you need to do to take steps to reach the goal that you need to do. Step four, how am I planning to do this? Now you write how many hours each week you are planning to put aside to achieve this particular goal. If it's exercise, you may want to exercise one hour a day, half an hour a day. It really depends on you. And then you put the, the hourly goal there. If you want to, um, say, grow your business by 10%, then how much hours are you going to dedicate in getting new clients, making new sales, um, investing your money so your money can grow? All of those things you put an hourly timeline each week. And you try to meet that timeline every week. Of course, things happen and sometimes you will fall short, but for the most part, try to meet those goals. Um, the last one is step five. What will help you stay consistent? And then you can just outline things like family support, consistency, prayer, uh, a mentor or an accountability partner, things like that. So that's what I wanted to share with you. I will download this video and put it up on YouTube. Um, I hope you can continue following me throughout the, the different months, years ahead because I do plan to grow my Instagram and to do more videos on Instagram. I am more present on Facebook, so if you know me on Facebook, you can just say hi down in the comments and tell me how you're planning to, to achieve your goals for 2022. You don't need to tell me what those goals are, but just tell me how are you planning to achieve them for 2022. All right. Thanks, guys, for listening, and I will see you next time. Okay?